It's Tuesday, November 6th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. If it's Tuesday, it must be time to mention Ron Paul in a desperately transparent bid to boost our ratings. Actually, today I have a very legitimate reason to mention Dr. No because, as Politico's Jonathan Martin reports, his fundraising yesterday was anything but desperate. The Republican presidential candidate apparently raised $3.8 million from 35,000 donors in a 24 hour period. It's being called a money bomb and it happened on the 402nd anniversary of Guy Fawkes' attempt to bomb the English Parliament. Note the subtle libertarian subtext there. Paul's campaign says it's not responsible for the bombing and did not officially coordinate the dropping of said bombs. In a related story, the fundraising feat has prompted Ron Paul's opponents to drop the F-bomb. Joe Biden told CNN recently that he believes he'll do well enough in Iowa to propel him to a come-from-behind victory in the Democratic primary. However, he said that if he wasn't the nominee, it would probably be Hillary Clinton, and he wouldn't want her to be her vice president because Bill Clinton would dominate the White House. You might be right about that, Senator, but your statement assumes that it's now a two-person race between you and Hillary Clinton. It's a good thing nobody knows about that Obama guy because otherwise he could really start cutting into your 3% in the polls. Finally, it's Election Day 2007. Kentucky and Mississippi will pick governors, and Mississippi, New Jersey, and Virginia will choose state legislators. And as the AP reports, Oregon voters will decide whether a cigarette tax hike should help pay for children's health insurance. Proponents of the measure hope a win in Oregon could aid the issue's prospects nationally as Congress debates how to pay for expanding the state's children's health insurance program. If the tax hike doesn't fly in Oregon, where Birkenstock-wearing residents are more likely to smoke non-tobacco products, children's health advocates will face a tough road ahead nationally. The tobacco industry has spent $12 million to kill the measure and billions of dollars trying to kill the smoking population. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including an interesting revision on the John Edwards website. And don't worry, I remember, remember the 5th of November, just like it was yesterday, right here on Playbook TV.